Let's talk about colligative properties. These are properties that do not depend upon the identity of a solute, but only by the amount or number of solute particles dissolved. So there are four colligative properties. One is vapor pressure lowering. So if we dissolve a solute into a solvent, the vapor pressure of the solvent will decrease. And because the vapor pressure of the solvent decreases, then we have to raise that solution to a higher temperature in order to hit the normal boiling point. And so we have a boiling point elevation. So when we would dissolve a solute into a solvent, the solution will have a higher boiling point than the pure solvent. And the freezing point will be lowered of the solution. So if we dissolve salt into water, the freezing point will go down of the solution. And the final colligative property we'll study is osmotic pressure. So let's consider these in turn. Okay, let's consider vapor pressure lowering. So if we dissolve a solute into a solvent, the vapor pressure of the solvent decreases. And we can write the vapor pressure of the solution is equal to the mole fraction of the solvent times the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. And we put a little superscript O to represent pure solvent. So we saw a mole fraction before when we studied gases. So if we have something dissolved in a solvent, then the mole fraction of the solvent will be less than one, so the vapor pressure will be less than the pure solvent because we're multiplying by a fraction. So let's look at an example. Say we have um, 100 grams of sugar in one liter of water. We want to know what the vapor pressure of that sugar solution will be. So we have to find the mole fraction of the solvent and the vapor pressure of pure water. So the vapor pressure of pure water we can find in a table and we can calculate the mole fraction. So let's say this is at 100 degrees centigrade. That's the boiling point of water. So we'll see how far the vapor pressure is lowered. Okay, so we need to find the mole fraction. So the mole fraction of the solvent is equal to the moles of the solvent divided by the total number of moles in the solution. So this is going to be number of moles of solvent. We have one liter of water. So that's a thousand grams. And we have one mole per 18 grams of water. So this is the molecular weight of water. So this will give me the moles of water, the solvent in the numerator. And then in, in the denominator, I need the total number of moles. So I have moles of water plus the moles of sugar in the denominator. So this is the moles of water. So now for the moles of sugar, I have 100 grams of sugar, and its molecular weight is 342 grams per mole. So this is the mole fraction of the solvent. This is equal to 0 0.99. The vapor pressure of the solution 
is equal to mole fraction 0.99 times 760 torr the vapor pressure of pure water so that's equal to 752 torr so you can see the vapor pressure has been lowered by dissolving sugar into water